Hi guys and welcome to the channel. So I enjoy Halloween and I love burgers so I thought what better way to celebrate those two things than to do a special on it. But what's better than doing one burger? Two burgers and he's safe? Well no, actually three burgers. So today we are going to do three burgers and also a couple of cheeky little drinks as well. So we're going to start off with a breakfast burger but with another this twist. Oh, but before I forget there are going to be two special treats for you in this video. So, there's going to be a competition and the person that wins is going to win this Inkbird digital thermometer. Now to win, there is going to be five of these little things in the video somewhere. And in the description below you'll find my email address. And it, from the people that email in to say where these are, I will draw a lucky winner and I will send that digital thermometer to them. Now for the second treat, you're going to have to wait until later in the video. So next, after that, we're going to do a classic smash burger, but with some special little touches just to make it incredible. And then finally, we're going to do a mushroom and blue cheese burger, and I'll show you how just how amazing you can have a burger without any meat in it. Please subscribe to the channel, it's free, it doesn't cost you anything, and you keep up to date with any new videos that I release. But anyway, enough talking, let's get to it. Right, so let's start off with the bun. And this bun is a beautiful bun. I'll leave the link in the description below so you guys can come and get these if you want. We've got three colors, sorry. We've got two colors today, the red and the black. I absolutely love them. They're gluten-free, wheat-free. Go and check them out. So, first thing I'm gonna do is butter these. So you can see a nice layer. And we're gonna stick these on the grill because these take a little bit of time to toast up and then you can set them to side. So I'm using butter on the roll and the reason I'm doing that and toasting them off is that when we put all the different ingredients in the burger it keeps that bun nice and um, sealed and it basically doesn't go soggy so it's a better bite when you eat it. Then it's the tomato, the lettuce, the burger itself, the cheese, the black pudding and stay with me on that one. Also some thick cut bacon, mushroom, onions and to top it off with a runny egg. I mean, this is going to be good. So let's toast this one up. So this is a portobello mushroom. And as you can see, it's a nice meaty mushroom. So I'm going to put that on the griddle as well. It takes a little bit of time to cook through. So let's put that on. And I'm using avocado oil. The reason I'm using avocado oil is because it's got a high heat point. So what a heat point is, is basically if you ever see oil and you see it smoking away, that basically means it's hit its heat point and it's going to start disintegrating and sometimes that can leave a bit of a weird taste on your food. So by using something like um, avocado oil which has a high heat point, you don't run into that problem. So let's stick this mushroom on. So these buns have had a couple of minutes now and it's our time to check them over. So you can see on there, that is all beautiful, crispy, that would be perfect. So let's take that off and put that to one side. Do the other bit. Yeah, perfect, exactly what you want. Lovely. So next it's the bacon and the black pudding. So today I'm using smoked, and this is black bacon. So you can use streaky if you want, but I think just in burgers, I kind of like that thicker cut bacon. And you can see from that, that is beautiful bacon, that. So we're going to stick a few slices of that on. Because we're using bacon in two of our burgers, I'm going to chuck quite a few slices on and get them cooking, as well as black pudding. So this is quite an English thing. You can get it in most places. Most supermarkets will actually hold it now. But this is kind of like a creamy, sort of like, I mean it's made of blood let's be honest um, but it's got like other ingredients in there like oatmeal and stuff like that so it's actually really quite a nice textural thing and when you fry this off so it's got a nice crust in it again it's just another dimension another flavor another texture and that's what building burgers is about you want all those different elements to come together and come out amazing so this is it, the bacon and black pudding on oh no it's not on record no, I'm only joking. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> There's no people there.
So our bacon's starting to crisp up. So the way I build burgers is basically the things that take a little bit longer, you want them on first, but then you can set them to one side so that when you come to build a burger, you can just reheat them if they need it and it's just all nice and simple and works really well. So you can see the bacon is cooking really nice, the mushroom and, and the blood pudding, so that's getting a nice little crust on that. Looking good. So next we're gonna slice up the onion. So I'm gonna cut this in half. And then slice this up really nice and thin. So this bacon is perfectly well wanted. You can see that's all beautiful, crispy. So I'm just gonna put that onto a cool side of the grill. So next we've got the onion that we just sliced up, a bit more oil on that, and then I'm just gonna break those up just where I put the oil in. But as I always say, you've got to season your onions. So today, get the thing. So today, I'm going to use short shot tits, and I'm going to use the gunpowder rub. This has got a beautiful mix of uh, salt, pepper, bit of MSG in there. Thank you. So we're going to sprinkle this on. Right, it's going to smell and taste amazing. Right, so next we need to do our patty. So this is 15% uh, uh, steak mint, so it's 50% fat and 85% uh, meat. So you do need a decent amount of fat in your mints because when we put these on, we smash them down. We want to caramelize and get a beautiful crunch so it's really, really distinctive on the smash burger. Um, so I'm gonna grab a handful here. So I'm gonna do about, probably about 100 grams, this patty and you're just gently going to form it, so don't squish it, don't squeeze the life out of it, you're just forming that to that ball. If you squish it too much, then when we press it down, you're not going to get all that caramelization, it's not going to spread out like you want it. So, let's put this on the griddle. So, a little bit more oil, put your ball down, and give that a good old press. These sticks, use your flipper to straight off. Oh, look at that. Perfect. So today I'm actually gonna season the patties as well. And this is their coffee rub. This is beautiful and stuff. It adds such a gorgeous flavor. And let's just sprinkle that over. Beautiful. So we're just gonna let that sit for a minute. We just want it to caramelize. You don't wanna move it too soon. You want that sear, that hard sear on it to begin with. And then as that ends caramelizing, you can see it start to caramelize and bubble. Perfect, that'd be good. So this is at a couple of minutes now. Um, and you can see it's moving around nice and freely. So it's time to flip this. Look at that, that is exactly what you want. That beautiful caramelization and it's all gone crispy around the edges. Oh, and the smell. Wow, that's incredible. There's nothing better than burgers. I love it. Okay, so do our egg, bit of oil down, give it a tap, then we'll break this on to Right, it's time to take everything off and build our burger. It smells amazing. So we've got all the components of our burger, it's time to build this. We're gonna start off with a good, decent amount of tomato sauce. Love it. Then we're gonna put a bit of lettuce down. We've gotta be a bit healthy, haven't we? Yeah, you can <laughs> take this out later, it's fine. Next, we're gonna put our patty down. Then our that pudding, our mushroom, 
or bacon, now she's put her onions first. No, let's put her bacon first, so change my mind again. A bit of bacon, some onions, and last but not least, this gorgeous, gorgeous runny egg on top. Now that is the thing of you. Right, so next we're going to do the smash burger. So we're going to do a double patty. We're going to put tomato in this. We're going to cook bacon. We're going to get the onions. So we've already cooked those two things. And then we're going to put tons of cheese in this thing. We're also going to do a really special burger sauce, which I love it. I absolutely love this burger sauce. So first things first, let's do the patties and get those on the grill. Right, so the first thing we're going to do is make a couple of patties. So again, about 100 grams or so each. You can do them smaller if you wish. So form it nice and gently. Don't crush the life out of it. So we're going to do two patties in this smash burger. Okay, so let's put those on the griddle. Right, don't worry about that. Um, sorry, yeah, I was going to say, I've just put this stick in one. So I'm going to season this up with the short shot sits, give that a nice general coating. Perfect. So from before, I've already got my bacon, so I'm just going to put that on the cooler side of the griddle. Stick that on, and also the onions that we've got left over from what we did earlier on as well. So let's stick those to one side. and also our bun. So we've got room on this griddle, so I'm gonna stick that in the middle and just get that toasted on. So these burgers ready to be flipped. Oh, there we go. Beautiful char on that. That's what you want. That is flavor. All that caramelization, that's on so what you want. I'm gonna move this onto a slightly hotter part of the grill and get that char again. Right, time to take these buns off. Yeah, can't really see them because they're black, but you can feel that's nice and crispy. You can feel that's nice and crispy. Put those to one side. Yeah, perfect. Right, so the patties are cooked now, or pretty much cooked, so we're just gonna add some cheese slices, and I love cheese. So I never think you can have too much cheese. I'm gonna stick these on. So this is an American cheese slices. If you like cheddar, whatever you like gura, you can have whatever cheese you fancy. But this one, just for me, works perfectly. And now I'm gonna get, this is called a kosh. So you can use a saucepan, you can use anything really that's kind of like heat resistant. But basically, we're just gonna stick that over and that's gonna keep all that heat in and just melt that cheese really nicely. Okay, before we put everything together, we just need to make our burger sauce. So I've got a ramekin. I'm gonna get a decent amount of mayonnaise in there. And then I've got this. So this is rub me, this is McDaddy's rub from Angus Annoying. And this stuff makes the most incredible burger sauce. I love it. So, I'm gonna add decent amount to here. Remember you can always add more mayonnaise or um, rub depending on your flavour preference. So if you like it a bit stronger, as a typical rule, the more yellow it is the stronger it will be. But you can just taste as you go and then make sure it's the way you like it. Give a lick. Yep that's good. And then just to elevate the burger sauce a little bit more. 
I'm going to get a couple of, and these are sweet gherkins, sweet pickles. And what we're going to do is just slice those up into nice little pieces. and then add those to the burger sauce and give that a nice so those are all nice and melted now time to build our burger so first thing first we're going to grab our bun nice decent dollop of burger sauce And this is one of the reasons why we toast that bun, so it don't go nice and soggy when you put things like this on it. Then, time to put our first patty on. Then our second. Next, we're gonna put our bacon on. So I'm going to put barbecue sauce in this, I love barbecue sauce. Please check out this video and I'll show you how to make exactly the sauce that I'm using today. Right. But I'm not happy with that, I'm also going to put cheese sauce on. So, let's put a decent amount of cheese sauce on. The last thing I'm going to do is add these. So these are sweet pickled onions and again if you check out this video I'll show you how to make these and basically what these will do is cut through all that fat, all that richness. These are sweet ones but they've just got a really beautiful flavour, a crunch to them as well that just finishes off this burger beautifully. Then last but not least we're going to take a big old, yeah so we're going to take a big old beef tomorrow Cut a really nice slab out of that and that sticks on sits on top like that. And then finally a bit more barbecue sauce and the old bun. Okay, so this is a cool little drink. Now you can um, put alcohol in it, you can put rum, you can put um, you know, whatever you fancy in there sort of thing. Um, but, I quite like doing the kids friendly version. So, the bit I am going to add, which you don't have to, is green food colouring. So if you don't want to, don't, but this is just for effect, it's fine, it's not going to harm you at all. So, I'm just going to add a tiny little bit of food colouring into the bottom of the glass. And then what I've got here is some light cheese, and I'm just going to drain off that juice. Next thing I'm going to do is this. So this is like a Mexican lime. You can use limeade, whatever you fancy really, whatever you stick you like. And we're just going to pour that into the glass. Like that. Then we've got some ginger ale. You can use ginger beer for this one as well. It works just as well. I'm going to pour that in. And then the next thing we're going to do, so we're going to get our light cheese and I've got some black grapes and we're just going to put those grapes inside that light cheese so they look like eyeballs. And then we just drop those in, do a couple of those, like that, stick that one in. And then in here I've got these really, really cool ice cubes that look like skulls. I love these things. So we're just going to drop a couple of those in, and that's it. Beautiful Halloween drink. Yeah. Okay, next we're going to do our veggie burger. So the main part of our veggie burger is these portobello mushrooms. So we're going to use a couple of these, and they're really thick, really meaty, and they've got a beautiful flavour to them. But also we're going to do a poo. A but also we're going to do a blue cheese dressing to go over this, over the mushrooms. Ah, oh, 
it just that saltiness, that tang, perfect. Right, first thing first, let's get these mushrooms and let's get our buns on the griddle and get those cooking. Right, it's time to build this burger. So the mushrooms are all nice and cooked, beautiful. So it's time to do it. First thing we're gonna do is make this blue, is make this blue cheese, I can't say it, can't say it, can I? <laughs> First thing we're gonna do is make this blue cheese dressing. So, decent amount of mayonnaise. And then we're gonna get some, and this is some blue cheese, some like Stilton, but this is a nice soft one. You don't want to want it too hard because we're now going to mix that together. And then I'm going to put a bit of Sure Shot Sids, and this is their coffee rub. That is our seasoning. Give that a thorough mix. Give it a taste. Make sure it tastes nice. Oh yeah, it's good. Me likey. Right, it's uh, time to build the burger then. So, we've got a bun, onto which we're gonna stick our blue cheese dressing. God, that tastes good. And a nice mix all over. Then I'm going to put some lettuce. On top of that, a nice bit of tomato. Then we've got our beautiful grilled mushrooms. And another tomato. Then we're going to get our lid. Another coating of the sauce on top of that. Okay, so then I'm going to get some of our sweet pickled onions again. Get some out there, fight me. Just put those on top. Again, you find the link to this up above. Then it's our tomato. Right, so like a complete numpty, when I was recording these sections of the video yesterday, I forgot to put the sound on. So, unless you're a mind reader, you will not have a dicky bird what I'm talking about. Well, we don't anyway. But it was really important because this is your second treat of the video. Now, in the description down below, you will see a link. And that link will take you to um, a free template. And this is the meat smoking planner. And what this allows you to do is to enter in all the information that you need to record when you're doing your barbecue. And the reason it's important to record this information is because over time you can change certain parts of it, record it, understand what worked well, what didn't work so well, and by recording it you can go back by right, okay, fine, and you can change certain parts and that will help you become a better barbecue and get better barbecue. So that's yours, it's free. Enjoy it, use it as many times as you like. If you did go and get it, please leave a comment down below to let me know what you think about it. So go get it, sure, go enjoy. So this last bit I want to do is a couple of thank yous. So I really want to thank my friend Danny. Um, he gave up his day to come and help me with all the video work. Um, he was an absolute legend. I really, really appreciate all his time and effort. So thank you very much. And then I'd like to also thank Duncan, who's my neighbor. He's also the founder of Brothers of the Grill. Please go and check his channel out. And he lent me his grill. So without him lending me this, his grill, I couldn't have done this video at all. So really many thanks to Duncan. Um, 
finally, I would just like to say to you, please subscribe to the channel. It's free, doesn't cost you anything. And also give it the old thumbs up. Doing those two things will let YouTube know that you're enjoying my content. By subscribing, you'll get notifications of any new videos that I'm putting up. And also, the more subscribers I get for different content, then I understand what you guys are enjoying and what not, and I can make more of that content, because ultimately, I want to give something to you. So, with that being said, please go and check out this video, where I show you how to smoke a brisket. So, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.